Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be sharing my morning skincare routine and later on in the day I'll be sharing my nighttime skincare routine and I do look a little rough right now because I just woke up so this is real life. The thing that I like to do for my skin is go in with the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to oily skin. I have combination skin and I love this stuff. This is probably like the third bottle that I've bought. This is a big one so it's going to last me a while but you can find this on Amazon. You can find this at CVS. You can find this at Target, Walmart. A lot of places carry this brand. This kind of blew up with TikTok and a lot of these products that I'll be talking about are approved by Skincare by Hiram and they're recommended by him and that's why I use them because before this I had no idea what was good for my skin. I kind of didn't really have that much of a skincare routine and then with quarantine I really started taking care of my skin even though my skin hasn't been bad in a long time. I think when I was going through puberty I did have a lot of acne but after with time it went away. So then I'm just going to dry off my face with one of these cloths. But I'm not going to show myself at the sink because I feel like it's not the prettiest thing but I can show probably like what it looks like when it foams up. So first I'm going to wet my skin, wet my face. I've wet it a little. I'm going to take my cleanser which I love that it has a pump. And I don't pump too much. I maybe that much. Um, if you have makeup, obviously, I think you would want to pump more. I just kind of work it in my. See what it looks like. It's starting to foam up. I love cleansers that foam up. Oh, and I just do circular motions all over my face. You want to do this for about 30 to 60 seconds, whatever your skin can handle. I just do 30. So I just go in circular motions. And you can, and I like that this doesn't really burn my eyes when I wash around, you know, when I do this thing. It just foams, not, it doesn't foam up too much, but it foams up a little, like so, like that. But then I'm gonna rinse it off. So now that our face is all washed up, I just pretty much pat dry all over. So you want to be careful around your eyes so there's a more sensitive area. This is our clean face. In the morning, there's two products that I like to use and I pretty much alternate after I wash my face. I either use this Selfless by Hiram Salicylic Acid and Seek Help. This is a pore clearing and oil control serum and you use this in the daytime. It's a uh, partnership. I believe with the inky list so I like to use, doing this let's say on a Monday and then on a Tuesday I'll go in with this one which is a, a, the ordinary niacinamide and zinc serum so yesterday I did this one so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one I just do two drops and you kind of want to put it on your hand instead of on your face because if the dropper gets on your face um then you're putting you know, bacteria from your face into the product. At least that's what Skincare by Hiram says. So I just put this all over. Don't really have a way that I do it. Like so, like that. And on the other day, so let's say tomorrow, it has a good little applicator. I'm just gonna put some on my hand so you can see. Just do a drop. It's, I mean, it has some thickness but it's mostly like almost like a slimy water that's how i describe it it's pretty clear um but yeah i just do when i do use this product i just do like one or two drops and i just put it where i am oily so like my forehead my nose and right here and in my chin pretty much like across that's where i put that lastly you want to go in with a moisturizer and an spf and because i am lazy and i don't really like I haven't found an SPF that I really love because I have combination skin, get oily um, throughout the day. So I just use one that's two in one, which is this one right here. The CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen has SPF 30 and I really like this one. I know not everyone feels the same about that product, this product, but I mean, it works for me. I probably don't even put enough, but like I said, I'm not that big of a fan of SPF. But this one's pretty lightweight. I mean, it smells like SPF. 
for chatting and there's nothing wrong with that. Putting it all over. And you've got that done. So I am back. I look more alive now, I think. I just let my hair down since it was in braids and it looked cute. So I was like, you know what? This is gonna be my hair for the day. I went ahead and threw on some concealer, setting powder, where I put the concealer, some clear brow gel, and some mascara. Lastly, I did want to show this, because I feel like this is part of skincare. Um, this is the Burt's Bees Cucumber Mint Moisturizing Lip Balm, and it is 100% natural. So I really do um, like this lip balm, but I feel like nothing beats Carmex. I love that stuff, but I have not bought one in a long time so this will do i have a pretty big lips so i do feel like i always need to be applying well not always but i apply lip balm multiple times a day because my lips can get dry but right now they look very plump very hydrated so that, that is pretty much it for my morning skincare routine since it's not that lengthy i don't think i'm gonna go ahead and in a little bit obviously in a little bit you'll be able to see my nighttime skincare routine but for me it's gonna be many hours from now um but once it's nighttime and i'm getting ready to go to bed i'll be sure to show you guys my nighttime skincare routine and i'll be talking about two chemical exfoliants that i like to use and i'll probably do a face mask because i kind of want to do like a good self-care night for me i feel like i need it um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I've been having so fun. I've been having a lot of fun with this video so far. So I hope that you are enjoying it. If you are, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in a few seconds. And I am back to show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. Because we're gonna take my glasses off. And I bought. Actually, I don't remember where I bought this, but I bet it was TJ Maxx. I have this cute little, have this cute little headband. I'm gonna be putting on to get my hair out of my face, and I'm also gonna be doing a mask. So just feel more like I'm at a spa when I have this thing on. It's just an extra thing. Be removing our makeup. I'm not wearing too much today, but. What I've been using since I learned from Skincare by Hiram, makeup wipes aren't the best for your skin, they're not the best for the environment. And he recommended my cellar water and I love CeraVe, so I went ahead and bought their CeraVe, um, hydrating my cellar water. And this is my second or third bottle of this. Then on Amazon, I bought these little cotton rounds. And this is like a soft side and this has like more like fibers, I guess and um it came i think it came in this so pretty much these are reusable um i've had them for a while now so you i'll show you how to use it but afterwards you can put it into this bag and throw this bag into your washer and wash it with what you want to wash it with and you can dry it in the dryer and it looks like this after so i you just want to saturate like oh it's gonna spill everywhere if i show you guys you just want to saturate <laughs> The cotton round, I just kind of put it in the middle. I mostly have a brow gel. Ooh, look at that. You can see how, okay, this is how red my face gets, but compared to this, like, that's why I wear concealer because it can be very drastic. This can get very red. It can get very red. Okay, so I'm just removing around my eyes. It's just anything. You can also use micellar water to take off SPF or dirt, oil, whatever is on your face. This is part of a double cleansing system. Saturated more to get that mascara off. And you just don't be as harsh as I am. Like, be a little more gentle, but I am a little more harsh on my eyes. And I feel like that's exactly why I have wrinkles it's all done it doesn't have to be completely off the makeup doesn't have to be completely removed because we're gonna double cleanse so we're gonna cleanse again with the cleanser that i showed you guys earlier back again 
uh, we'll be using this bad boy and you can put if you have more makeup I would recommend using a bigger a bigger amount than you do in the mornings just because now you're gonna be taking off makeup um but I'm just grabbing like this much and I'll go ahead and wash my face and I'll be back the same as before you want to pat dry your skin just more skincare by higher recommendations I think every single um I was gonna say ingredient. I think every single product in this video is skincare by Hiram approved. But two of the exfoliants that he's talked about before are this Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. It has, um, it has salicylic acid and it's for all skin types. This is a smaller one and I still have a lot. I don't use that one that much. And this is the Ordinary HA BHA Peeling Solution. Put this on my face for 10 minutes and we're actually gonna be doing this one. This one's a little bit more cooler because there's a color to it. So it's more of an experience as well. But this one pretty much has this little My family just got here, so I got kind of shy, but I'm just putting like five or probably like three drops of that and just kind of spreading that out on my face. I'm gonna do one more drop. And that exfoliate you can do, I would say, once a week, and this as well, once a week. And you want to wait 10 minutes while we wait i can tell you a little bit more about that chemical exfoliant so pretty much it's like a clear liquid you can um, put a little bit on a, those same cotton rolls that i was using before you can just put on your fingers and um tap it into your skin so pretty much like it says in the name it is a exfoliant it's a chemical exfoliant it's pretty easy to use you don't have to take it off once you wash your face you can just put it on i would recommend doing that at night uh, maybe midweek um, wash your face put that on and then continue on with your skincare routine but today I wanted to do this one because it's a little more I don't know a little more extra so I'm just choosing to do that today so we are waiting here for 10 minutes and then you want to take it off if you have more sensitive skin I would recommend or anyone I would recommend you um, patch testing this just because i'm not sure how you're gonna react to it to me it's worked fine um i feel like my skin is very soft afterwards and it's exfoliated like it should be before i used to use scrub exfoliants and i real and I, well, I learned that's not that great for your skin so here we are um not to mention that most of these almost like 90 percent of these um products that i've been showing you guys are affordable and i'll make sure to leave everything a link down below so check that out i'm glad i'm finally um, filming this video because i feel like it's been forever since i've been wanting to do a skincare routine but honestly my skincare routines before weren't even great so i'm kind of glad that i waited until now and yeah i've just kind of been like slowly adding new products into my routine and i feel like i'm in a great space right now it is time to take this mask off or wash it off. Then we're gonna be drying our face and finishing up the nighttime skincare routine. We're done washing it off. We're gonna be pat drying once again. Then we're gonna be going in with a serum. This is also, what? No, maybe this is my first bottle, but it's almost out. Let's see if we can get some out of here. This is hyaluronic acid. This is great for hydrating your skin. It's a little sticky, so you kind of want to wash your hands after. Putting this all over. The reason why I use this at night is because I have combination skin and I don't need my skin to be more hydrated in the daytime and at nighttime. I do not mind it. Then we're going to be going in with, this is probably the most expensive um, product that I have in my routine. This is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream. And it's pretty much a gel moisturizer, which I love. It smells great. It has like a, a subtle 
smell nothing crazy after a while you can't really smell on your face just um what's the word adding that onto my skin we're gonna finish it off once again with some lip balm so our lips can be hydrated during the night your lips are ever really chat. Green Birdseeds makes these lip face, no, these lip masks, like sheet masks, and they work great. They really hydrate and plump up your lips, and you can keep that oil on throughout the night. So highly, highly, highly recommend those. And that is it for our for our morning time, nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know there's a lot of products. I'll try to leave them all listed down below. Hopefully some of these products work for you. If you have any recommendations for products, leave them down below. Or if you have any video recommendations for me, leave them down below as well. I've enjoyed making this video for you guys. Being back on YouTube, it feels great. Um, I'm happy to be doing this and happy to be creating more videos for you guys here in the near future. Y'all know I'm not the best at uploading, but I'm going to try to get a little bit better at that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.